I met Michael in a lift, and he's known for 30 years of his different abilities. So he's turned his life as a result of his polio into a campaign to educate others who are struggling with who they think they are, with the nature of their abilities and strengths. He's providing education and facilities. But what impressed me the most in the whole of our conversation was his resilient joy. He just beamed as he does now. So as he gracefully makes his way across, come on, Michael, come on. Start your journey. Welcome, Michael Shuomi, the founder of Rising Star Africa Foundation. me. What do you see? You see crutches, disability, or someone who can't work properly. Born in rural Nigeria, people like me are seen as beggars or imbeciles. But today, I stand here to represent people who are stigmatized and marginalized by the society. A society that assumes people like me don't have dreams and aspirations like able-bodied people do. A society that sees us as dependent on others with no say in life. But I'll tell you something. Education can unlock that door. I am wholly here with you right now because I am one of the very lucky ones to be educated despite my disability. In Nigeria, only one in 10 children with disabilities can access education. This is because school buildings are either inaccessible or dilapidated. There is a lack of facilities to support disabled children, and teachers are unable or untrained to give the required support. This leaves a generation of disabled children unmotivated and unfulfilled. Many turn to streets begging for food or money. And with no mental health support, some try to commit suicide. My name is Michael Shomi. And hi see my disability as my ability. In 2020, I founded uh, Raising Star Africa, a nonprofit that caters for children with disabilities and out of school children. We aim to make all children self-reliant and able to contribute to the society. Raising Star Africa runs program making schools inclusive and accessible through renovation and refurbishment. We work on improving social skills by taking disabled children out of the classroom to shopping malls, museums, etc. We deliver vocational or digital skills to develop life skills and disabled child's independence. And we focus on one child at a time. Raising Star Africa has impacted over 5,000 children with disabilities 
across 120 communities in Nigeria. We have renovated three inclusive schools that has given over 500 children with disabilities access to education and a positive classroom environment. This is a 60% increase of children with disabilities enrolled in those schools. I would like to tell you a story about Rachel, a 13-year-old girl who was stigmatized by the society, even by her own parent. Her parents said children like her should not have access to learning because she was healed. But Rachel wasn't healed. She was just intellectually challenged. I enrolled Rachel into school in September 2022. The journey has been nothing short of transformative. In March 2023, we were overjoyed to receive our academic progress report. She was described as vibrant, brimming with life. Rachel loved to sing, and her classmates adored her ability to spread joy. Our educators labeled this trait as a unique gift of connectedness. Rachel proves education is the key to unlock the spirit and potential of every child. My fellow young leaders, I implore you to fight inequality through education. Education for all should not be a cliche, but an action we work towards within our respective country. When you all return home, advocate for accessible and inclusive classrooms, and for every child to have equal opportunity to learn. We, we all, must ensure education leaves no child behind. Thank you.